Good morning. Myself, Dr. Ayipugurindi, Assistant Professor of Chemistry, Department of Health and Health, Anamachara Institute of Technology and Sciences. Here we are having a discussion on some uh, coordination polymerization reactions. So what is the meaning of coordination polymerization? Here the polymerization reaction is proceeded by the catalyst. Uh, that means organometallic catalyst. Organometallic means uh, that the organic compounds as well as uh, uh, inorganic compounds uh, combine together to give some materials. That materials are called as organometallic compounds. If that polymerization reaction is catalyzed by some of the organic organometallic compounds, then that is called as a coordination polymerization. That uh, mechanism involves the formation of coordination bond between the metal and the monomer. That's why we are calling it as a coordination polymerization. So yeah, here now, uh, this, in this polymerization, mostly we are using Zika Nata catalyst. Zika Nata is a scientist who invented the catalyst that is uh, made up of uh, tri triethyl aluminum and tetra titanium trichloride or titanium tetrachlorides. Also, we can use this. So, this catalyst is formed by the complexation reactions. The complex is formed between uh, the titanium and the ethyl, ethylene of these uh, ethyl molecules and it gives that catalyst. This catalyst are, uh, has to be used for uh, polymerization reaction. Here, uh, as a initiator, here we are not using any initiators. Directly, we are using uh, this catalyst uh, to proceed that polymerization reactions. So, one example, we can see this. This reaction, this reaction in, uh, involves three steps. First step is the uh, initiation. In this initiation, that uh, pi cloud of alkene, what is meant by pi cloud? Pi cloud means uh, that double bond. The double bond is called as a pi bond. One of the bond from the double bond is called as a pi bond. This pi bond is formed between a uh, sideways overlap of three orbitals of these two carbon atoms. That way, that's why we are calling it as a pi bond. This pi bond overlaps with the uh, empty orbital of that titanium. So here we are using the another catalyst. In this the another catalyst. Uh, Titanium is combined with the organic molecule. This is the inorganic material and this organic material both combine to form the uh, organometallic compound. This is called as a Zika Nata catalyst. In this Zika Nata catalyst uh, activates this double bond uh, to pass the polymerization reaction. Uh, that means uh, this double bond has been opened and uh, this whole of the uh, monomer molecule has been inserted between the titanium and the carbon. How it is, this insertion has taken place? This insertion has taken place by the overlapping of this pi bond with the empty orbital of the titania. Yeah, titania is having empty, empty orbitals. With that empty orbitals, this pi bond undergoing overlapping and it, uh, it, it makes that insertion is possible and it gives this product. So, the next uh, step is uh, uh, propagation step. So, the material that means product which is obtained from the initiation step now acts as a, a catalyst and again that uh, titanium, uh, titanium makes that empty orbital to overlap with with this pi bond of uh, olefin or alkene. So now again uh, that overlapping of empty orbital of this titania has taken place with a uh, pi, uh, pi bond of this uh, olefin molecule. So, the, so this, this, uh, this uh, monomer is now has been inserted between uh, this titania and uh, this carbon and it gives uh, the product. In this way we are using uh, we, are, we are using n number of that means more number of that monomers has been inserted between the titanium and the, uh, and the carbon. So again, again, uh, the vacant orbital which is formed between the titanium makes available uh, for the polymerization reaction. So this insertion is again, again taken place between the titanium and the carbon and it gives the linear chain compound. So when we are using N molecule, we are getting uh, up to N plus 1 linear chain molecules. So next, uh, last step is termination. So we have to make terminate this reaction. How to terminate this? We can use uh, hydrogen halides like uh, hydrogen chloric or whatever may be hydrogen halides we can use in this hydrogen halides that proton has to be used to replace this titania this titania has been replaced by this hydrogen and this hydrogen is going to be this hydrogen this hydrogen replaces this titania and this hydrogen adds on this ch2 group and it becomes a ch3 and remaining the titania material that means the titanium portion uh, um, combines with the halides of this hx and it has been removed as a titanium halides again that can at least has been recovered so now we are uh, we are uh, using uh, this
kind of polymerization reaction uh, for to prepare the linear chain polymers it is very useful to prepare the linear chain polymer polymers so what are the main significance of this coordination polymerization reaction first one stereo control stereo control is important that means uh, if you want to prepare isotactic polymer we can proceed this if isotactic means that functional groups are present at same direction in the through the backbone polymer chain that is called as a isotactic so if we using this method we can make that isotactic polymerization but conventional method for we can we can we can we can get adaptive only in case of uh, polymerization of the propylene you know if we follow this uh, coordination polymerization we are getting isotactic but uh, normal conventional free radical polymerization or uh, ionic polymerization results in adaptic adaptic means uh, functional groups are present in random position there is no uniform there is no uh, same direction there all the functional groups are present uh, same direction somewhere and opposite direction somewhere that is randomness in the presence of functional groups in the polymer can take place that is called as adaptic poly polymerization next one is a linear polymer linear polymer means the polymer which is having a linear straight chain that is called as a linear polymer the without branching if we want to prepare linear chain this method is good way here we are using zika nada catalyst for example in case of polyethylene which is a uh, which is prepared through the uh, catalyst uh, zika nada is uh, virtually is free from any branching there is no branching we are getting only linear chain of that polyethylene molecule next one is zero selectivity zero selectivity means arrangements of molecules in three dimensional structure that is called as a stereo the stereo selective synthesis so in this uh, this kind of polymerization allows to get a stereo selective polymer along this that carbon carbon double bond finally isoprene for this is the best example for zero stereo selective synthesis in case of isopropene isopropene isoprene polymers synthesized by zika nada catalyst is having a cis one four polysy isoprene so which is called as a natural rubber so if you want to prepare as like a natural rubber we can use this zika nada catalyst for iso brain to prepare in laboratory method so this is the important things of the significance of uh, these are the significance of coordination polymerization reactions